Introduction. In many workplaces, the air you breathe can be hazardous. Potentially harmful dusts, mists, fumes, gases, and vapors. Breathing airborne contaminants can damage your lungs or cause other sickness or disease, even death. If engineering controls or other measures are not sufficient, you can help reduce your exposure to certain airborne contaminants by wearing a respirator. Each time you wear a respirator, you must know the proper fitting procedures and follow them carefully. Today, we will introduce you to the half face piece respirators made by 3M and provide training on how to both use and obtain optimal performance from your 3M respirator. If you still have questions about correct fitting procedures after viewing the appropriate segment for your respirator, review the information provided in the user instructions, check the steps on the poster provided by 3M, or see your supervisor. If you have questions regarding which respirator is right for your application, see your supervisor or trainer. We will be reviewing and instructing in the following seven areas. Use and limitations. Inspection. Assembly. Donning. User seal check. Removal, replacement and cleaning. Replacement parts. Use and limitations. To help protect you from certain contaminants in the air where you work, your company has selected a 3M half face piece reusable respirator for your use on the job. It was chosen based on the specific types of airborne contaminants and their concentrations in your workplace. It is important that you use only the filter or cartridge that has been selected by your employer. The effectiveness of a respirator depends on its filter's efficiency in removing contaminants and the ability of the wearer to achieve an appropriate fit. No respirator can be effective if it doesn't fit and seal properly to your face. It is critical that all edges of the respirator are flush against your face. If you have a beard or other facial hair, or any other condition that interferes with the face seal, you cannot use the face pieces featured in this video. An additional segment demonstrates fit testing your respirator. In the U.S., OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, requires fit testing to ensure that your respirator fits properly. It is your employer's responsibility to ensure that you receive a fit test when the respirator is first issued to you, and then at least once a year. You will only get the protection this respirator can provide if it fits you properly and you wear it at all times while you are in a contaminated area. Do not use your half face piece respirator for concentrations of contaminants which are immediately dangerous to life and health, are unknown, when concentrations exceed 10 times the applicable exposure limit, or in atmospheres containing less than 19.5% oxygen. If you have any questions about which respirator and filters are appropriate for your respiratory hazards, consult your supervisor or trainer. If you don't follow all of the instructions and observe the limitations for your type of respirator, you could reduce the effectiveness of your respirator and take a needless risk with your health. Inspection Before each use of your half face piece respirator, inspect it for any signs of damage. Check the face piece, gaskets, straps, and all plastic parts and valves for distortions, cracks, tears, and dirt. Your respirator will not function correctly and your health could be jeopardized if your respirator has damaged or defective parts. If it does, replace them before using the respirator. Assembly 3M half face piece respirators are designed to be used with a variety of 3M bayonet attachment chemical cartridges and particulate filters. To attach the round 2000 series and 2200 series filters, align the opening on the filter with the face piece attachment. Push them together and turn the filter clockwise one quarter turn until it stops turning. Do not turn past the stopping point. Attach the second filter to the other side. When attaching rectangular 7000 series filters, simply align the line on the inside of the filter with the small bayonet lug on the face piece. Push together and rotate clockwise one quarter turn to stop. To attach the chemical cartridges, simply align the mark on the cartridge with the small bayonet lug on the face piece and push together. Rotate the cartridge clockwise one quarter turn to stop. Follow these instructions for the second cartridge. All 3M half face pieces feature a guiding mark to help users align filters and cartridges properly with the small bayonet lug. If your work environment requires both a chemical cartridge and a particulate filter,
you may attach particulate filters to the chemical cartridges. To attach the 3M particulate filters 5N11 or 5P71, place the filter into the retainer with the printed side facing away from the retainer. Press the filter retainer firmly onto the cartridge until it locks securely. Correctly installed, the filter will completely cover the face of the cartridge with the printed side facing the cartridge. To replace the filter, remove the retainer by lifting on the tab. To use bayonet attachment particulate filters on top of the cartridges, the 3M Adapter 502 is required. Align the adapter over the cartridge and engage the front snap and the back snap by squeezing the adapter and cartridge together. You should hear a click as each snap is engaged. The adapter is designed for a one-time use only. It should not be removed and reattached to another cartridge because leakage may occur. Now align the opening on the appropriate filter with the opening on the adapter and turn the filter clockwise until it stops. Be sure the filter is firmly seated on the adapter gasket or leakage may occur. These steps may be followed to attach round 2000 or 2200 series filters or rectangular 7000 series filters. The filters are easily removed by turning counterclockwise. If you have any questions about which cartridges and filters are appropriate for the respiratory hazards you encounter, consult your supervisor or trainer. Donning 6000 Before you put on your respirator, make sure the straps are pulled far enough through the buckles to permit easy adjustment. Place the respirator over your mouth and nose, then pull the head harness over the crown of your head. Position the face piece low on the bridge of your nose for the best possible fit and to prevent the respirator from blocking your vision. Take the bottom straps in both hands and hook them together behind your neck. Tighten the straps by pulling on the ends, top straps first, then the bottom, until the respirator fits securely but comfortably. Do not pull the straps too tight. If the straps are too tight, push out on the back of the buckles to loosen them. Always check the seal of the respirator to your face before entering a contaminated area. Donning 6000 DD Before you put on your respirator, adjust the head cradle size to comfortably fit your head. With the head cradle positioned on the crown of your head, hold the strap ends with one hand and slide the face piece up onto your face with the other hand. Position the face piece low on the bridge of your nose for the best possible fit and to prevent the respirator from blocking your vision. Take the bottom straps in both hands and hook them together behind your neck. Tighten the straps by pulling on the ends, top straps first, then the bottom, until the respirator fits securely but comfortably. Balance strap tension by adjusting at top and bottom strap buckles. If the straps are too tight, push out on the back of the buckles to loosen them. User Seal Check Always check the seal of the respirator to your face before entering a contaminated area. Before you enter any contaminated area, you must perform either a positive or negative pressure user seal check. To perform a positive pressure user seal check, place the palm of your hand gently over the exhalation valve cover, being careful not to apply too much pressure and disturb the face seal. Exhale gently. If the face piece bulges slightly and you feel no air leaking between your face and the face seal, your respirator has sealed properly to your face. To perform a negative pressure user seal check with cartridges, first cover the open area of the cartridge with the palms of your hands. Filter retainers may aid in conducting a negative pressure user seal check. To perform a negative pressure user seal check with the round 2000 or 2200 series particulate filters, Position your thumbs over the center of the filters to restrict airflow through the filter. To perform a negative pressure user seal check with the rectangular 7000 series particulate filters, squeeze to compress the filter. After you've sealed the filter or cartridge inlet, inhale gently. If the face piece collapses slightly and you feel no air leaking between your face and the face seal, your respirator has sealed properly to your face. If you detect air leakage when conducting either the positive or negative pressure user seal checks, reposition the respirator on your face or readjust the tension of the straps. Then repeat the user seal checks. If you have any difficulty getting the respirator to fit,
review the user instructions in the packaging or the fitting instructions provided by 3M to be sure you're putting it on correctly. If your respirator still doesn't fit correctly, see your supervisor. A user seal check must be performed every time you put on your respirator. Never enter a contaminated area if your respirator does not seal properly. Remember, a user seal check is not a substitute for a fit test. It's very important that you have a fit test to be sure the respirator is capable of fitting you properly. Your respirator may be damaged if you smell or taste contaminants, if breathing becomes difficult, or if dizziness, irritation, or other distress occurs, and you should leave the contaminated area immediately, see your supervisor, and repair or replace your respirator. Remember, a user seal check is not a substitute for a fit test. It is very important that you are fit tested annually to be sure the respirator is capable of fitting you properly. Removal 6000. To remove the respirator, unhook the lower straps using both hands and pull the head harness over your head. Removal 6000 DD. To remove the respirator, unhook the lower straps using both hands, then slide the face piece down the straps to your chest. Replacement and cleaning. Replace the particulate filters according to instructions provided by your supervisor or when they become soiled, damaged, or breathing becomes difficult. Replace the chemical cartridges in accordance with your workplace's established change schedule or earlier if smell, taste, or irritation from contaminants is detected. Clean the face piece between uses by removing cartridges and filters and immersing in warm cleaning solution. Do not clean with organic solvents, which may degrade some respirator components. Make sure the water temperature does not exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Scrub with a soft brush until clean. Add neutral detergent if necessary. Do not use cleaner containing lanolin or other oils. Disinfect the face piece by soaking it in a solution of quaternary ammonia disinfectant or sodium hypochlorite or other disinfectant. Rinse the face piece in fresh, warm water and air dry in a non-contaminated atmosphere. 3M respirator wipes may be used as an interim method in the cleaning schedule for individually assigned respirators, but they must not be the only method in place. When not in use, store your respirator in its resealable storage bag or other suitable storage container away from the contaminated areas. 6,000 Replacement Parts To remove the respirator strap assembly, pull the upper legs from the facepiece buttons. Pry the valve cover assembly from the facepiece exhalation port. To replace the respirator strap assembly, position the valve cover over the facepiece exhalation port and press firmly to snap it into place. Push the upper legs onto the facepiece buttons. To remove an existing exhalation valve, Remove the respirator strap assembly as you did before. Grasp the valve and pull it off the center post. Inspect the valve seat to make certain it is clean and in good condition. To replace the exhalation valve, place the new valve over the exhalation port. Insert the stem into the center hole and press firmly on the valve. Make certain the valve is fully seated and spins freely. If the valve does not spin freely, push on the valve again until the stem is fully seated in the center hole. Replace the respirator strap assembly as you did before. To remove an existing inhalation valve, grasp the valve and pull it off the center post. To replace the inhalation valve, press the hole of the valve over the center post on the valve seat. Be certain the valve is fully engaged through the valve post and lays flat. The two red gaskets are designed to seal the interface between the face piece and the filters, cartridges, or dual airline. They should be inspected before each use and replaced if lost or damaged. When installing new inhalation gaskets, make certain they are in proper position under all three bayonet lugs. Understanding how to properly and safely use, maintain, and secure your respirator is of utmost importance. Don't forget that the user instructions are included with the respirator. 
And remember to always ask your supervisor if you have any questions regarding respiratory protection.